Gaslighting in several parts. After several of my favorite authors. You know, they say if there are two ideas fighting like dogs inside your head, the one that wins isn't the dog with teeth long as the night and a jaw quicker than the dawn. The one that wins, well, they say it's whichever dog you feed. Two. I wish I could tell you this story and not be in it. Three. It's a great theory. The one about the dogs. But it's not the dog you feed. It's the dog you live with. Four. I live with you, babe. You, with your crocus hands. Your eyes that close softer than the wings of migrating monarchs. Oof, that is horrible poetry, but I've seen it happen and I'm in love with you, so fuck off. You and I, uh, I wish I could tell you the story and not be in it. I love like water. I look for a body and, and then I rest. You love like fire. You seek your fuel and then you devour, except the meal isn't me. Meal is some new book your father bought you. It's, that, that's great, babe. I, I'm really glad you like your book. It's downtime, okay? You need more downtime. I get it, okay? It's a work project, all right? That kind of feels like the opposite of downtime, but I'm really glad you like your work, okay? It's a boy at work. It's a boy's tongue at work on your mouth. You found that it works to bury what you found here. Five. I saw the photo you sent him. Tongue hanging from your mouth like a receipt for our four-year relationship. And two hours earlier, I was feeding the idea of getting a dog with you, but you're right. I'm probably just feeding the wrong dogs. Okay, speaking of dogs, it's been a long time since we fucked without pretending that we were more than animals. You're dogging it again. No, don't tell me it's just a lot right now. Don't tell me I'm asking too much. I'm not asking too much. Am I asking too much? I'm not asking too much. Am I asking too much? I'm not asking too much. Am I? I was asking you to kiss me. Here, and here, and leave a bow. I was asking you to kiss me here, okay, and here, and, and leave a bruise, you know, something to remember you by. There I go, speaking honestly again. I'm, I'm sorry. I know how much that must stifle you. Six. Let's change the subject for a minute. <laughs> You met a boy once. Me! God, that was good. You took him under your sun like a seed. You, you grew a building out of that boy. You made him feel the opposite of ugly, which for the record, isn't beautiful. It's safe. You met a boy once. Took him so far into your heart, you actually mispronounced my name once that summer. You met a boy once. And then you met him again in the park, in the battery at the tip of Manhattan on the night. I drove seven hours from a show in upstate New York just to spend the second night in our first apartment together until you came home, looking like the wrong set of hands. But there I go, putting myself back in the story again. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so selfish. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so selfish. Okay, 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 I am learning to be more selfish, okay? I am putting myself back in this story. You met a boy once. You left a bullet inside his chest like you had found it then. Eight. It has taken me a long time. But I have finally written a version of this story in which only one of us appears. And it goes like this. What was mine is still mine. My blue couch. You're damn right, it's a nice couch. My black coffee mug from that nerdy bookstore in Massachusetts. My white morning. My crap. My yes. My yes. And yes. And yes, my, my lonely, which I love. My love, which I have become.
All right. Safi, can I do one more? How many more can I do? One, two, three.